Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use that will monitor changes to a folder or folders. So that way if something happens to something in that folder you will be notified. So we just did a video on another tool called Directory Monitor which does something similar. Uh, but we're going to show you this one as well. So this is another free one. So nothing to install. Just download the zip file, extract it, and run the folder monitor exe file. So when you do that, it'll be down here in your system tray running. Then you can right click on it, go to the add folder or add path option here. So there's the path. So we already have it set up for the E drive, and you could also choose the add folder option here and browse to a folder. Then you have some options here to run at login for current user or all users. You could open the log file. Uh, they have some options here. So here are the notifications. So you could have a visual notification, which is the default, a balloon or no notification, and stop the screensaver if it's on. And then you have the sound notifications. So we'll show you how this works in a minute here. You could have it display the last event. So let's say you close it out and you just want to see the last thing that happened. You could click on that. And then you could open the program from here to see what's going on. So here is our E drive that we're monitoring. You can right click on it, add another folder or path, check the options here. So here are the events. So it'll monitor these types of events. So you could disable some of these if you don't want to see all of these. And then if you want to execute a command on an event, you can configure that here. And then you have some include and exclude options. If you want to set those up. All right, so now that it's running, let's go make a new file here, for example. So you can see it popped up in your face. So this, you may or may not like it like that. So we'll change that in a minute. So now we'll change this file. Save it. All right, then it pops that up there as well for our notification. And if we come down here, Display last event again if we want to see that. Now if we delete this file, you can see it sent it to the recycle bin. All right, so let's change some of these settings so it's not so obnoxious. All right, let's go to the balloon notification, for example, here. All right, let's make a new folder this time here. Now it just pops up here, and then of course, if you close it out, you can display last event again, which will pop it up as a notification there. And of course, you could have no notification if you don't want that at all. And then for the sound, it uses a system sound, or you could use a beep like that, or no sound, or add your own custom sound. And if you open the log file, that's what that looks like. If you want to go back in the past and see what's been going on, you have a log file to do so. And this could also come in handy too if you have a shared folder on your computer and other people are connecting to it and you want to see if anything's been changed. But one of the downsides, it's not going to tell you who changed it if somebody remotely makes a change. You'll just know that something has changed. And then if you want to see information about the app, you could go to about you get some details right there all right i'll put a link in the description where you can download a folder monitor and then i'll also put a link for the other video we did on the other tool that does the same thing and you can try them both out and see which one works the best for you all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe